Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I would like to share my 19 weeks and 20 weeks pregnant vlog. And the special thing about today is I want to share with you guys what the baby's gender is. Yay! So we went um, to Riverside, California and we found a private facility for ultrasound and they could find out the baby gender for us. Um, and we actually took a couple of photos here. This is the first one. And they did a, a free 40 photos for us. I can really barely see the face, but that's okay. They look cool. <laughs> and I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to show it to you guys. One, two, three. Ta da! It's a girl. <laughs> I am super excited um, and when I was doing that ultrasound I even cried <laughs> when I was doing Jaden's ultrasound I didn't cry but that's not because I wasn't like happy or anything but it was just because I was kind of new I kind of knew I was expecting a boy um, and then this time I was kind of betting on it that I would have a girl so when I found out and I heard I saw the ultrasound and I kind of could see that little three lines over there I'll show you guys a picture I'll insert a picture and then um, I kind of just knew it was a girl but when the the tech said that it was a girl I started like crying because <laughs> I was so happy like i was really 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 happy because i get to dress up my baby girl i get to buy the floral cute clothes like you know all the baby girl cutesy stuff and like the cute headbands matching headbands i am so excited <laughs> um and then i'll share another video that how i knew that you know i kind of knew that Jaden was a boy and had to you know get pregnant with more chances on having a girl. I'll share that in, the vi in another video. But today, I wanna share what happened in the 19th week and the 20th week when I was pregnant. So, um, when I was pregnant about the 19th week, we just got back from Illinois, and we came home, and Jaden was trying, Jaden had jet lag, because um, Illinois and California does have like two hour time difference, so it was very difficult him, for him to adjust back to the California time. <laughs> You wake up later, you sleep later. It was really, it was kind of hard. <laughs> oh, just wait until we go back to Asia. Holy cow, it's going to be really difficult, but I'm still excited. Anyways, um, so the 19th week, we I took um, the, the second trimester blood test. We did, uh, we did the first trimester blood test before we left for, Cal, uh, for Illinois, and then we did the second trimester blood test when I got back. Now... Um, I found out that my blood test cost $2,690, $2,690. It was crazy. I have insurance with Kaiser. And this year, like uh, when I had Jaden, I had the highest, I believe it was the platinum um, uh, level of the insurance with Kaiser. And that was the best insurance that you can get. It was the most expensive one. So you just pay like a little copay every time you go. Now for this year, I wasn't expecting to get pregnant so soon. So I got um, a silver level, which you get platinum, you get gold, and then you get silver. And I believe under that there's like browns or something else. But I, I got the silver one because I knew I wasn't going to go to the hospital as often since I wasn't pregnant. So I got a silver one. And I wanted the silver copay, but somehow Kaiser ended up giving me silver deductible. So that messed the whole thing up and they wouldn't let me change it back to silver copay that I wanted because they said that you can't change it unless it's open enrollment time. So um, I called them and I asked them about the pregnancy blood test, how much it would cost. The, the lady on the phone was like, oh, it's gonna be 180 to 200 something dollars. And when I actually took the test, a couple months later, they billed me $2,690 for a blood test. And I was like, are you crazy? <laughs> And that was why I had to look for a private facility in Riverside to to find out the sex because I didn't want I didn't want to go to Kaiser um, to do the test on 
um, like to do the ultrasound test to find out the sex and the anatomy. Now I know the anatomy, the, uh, it's called the OB ultrasound. What it does is it scans for the baby's anatomy scan and it like scans for baby's bones, kidneys, everything that. But I know that if I take the test here, I mean take the ultrasound here, I would not be able to afford it because a blood test was $26.90. Um, so by the 20th week, I decided that um, I was going to have the baby in Taiwan. So I decided, I, I booked the tickets. So me and Alex and Jaden were all going back to Taiwan soon. Actually, this coming up week, we're going home. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'll be in Taiwan for the next six months because I'll be having the baby there. Now you're asking, so do you have insurance in Taiwan? I actually do. I was born in Taiwan and my whole family's there. I never stop paying for insurance in Taiwan because I go there um, at least once or twice a year and then I stay a month or up to three months every time I go. Now. You're saying, huh, isn't insurance in Taiwan and U.S. expensive? Well, in Taiwan, insurance is actually cheaper. It's like, I believe I was paying like $30 or $40 each month, and that's the insurance um, payment that you have to pay. Over here, I'm paying like $500, $600. In Taiwan, you pay like $40 a month. Pretty cheap, right? And Taiwan has like one of the best healthcare insurance like in the world. If you go check, it's one of the best. It's cheap and everybody like, I have to say sometimes um, the insurance system in the US is kind of messed up because I saw that bill, I was like, what? <laughs> and then they're like, yeah, an estimate on the phone was just an estimate. That was like 10 times difference. So, um, Anyways, I'm going home and I'm gonna have the baby there. And one of the other reason is actually because I need help with Jaden. I can't be taking care of Jaden and then go deliver the new baby and then you know come back and take care of the Jaden and the baby at the same time. So going home, having my family there with me, my mom's gonna help me take care of Jaden. Alex is gonna go home with me too, so I'm super excited about that. Last time he wasn't really able to stay with us for a long time. This time he's gonna stay with me um, for the most of the time. He might come back to US for a couple of weeks in the between time if he needs to, but he's gonna stay with me for, for the most. And I'm just super excited that I'm gonna have a different experience, um, like the delivering, the the birth experience. It's gonna be totally different. I've never had a baby in Taiwan, obviously. So I'll be vlogging down and telling, sharing you guys how it is um, delivering a baby in Asia. I mean, I'm sure every Asia di country is different, but Taiwan, um, I will be sharing the experience on that. I'm super excited. Um, okay, so that's what happened between the 19th week and the 20th week. But anyways, I'm just super excited to share with you guys that I'm having girl. I want to do a video on um, the symptoms between having a girl and then having a boy because it's totally different. I don't know if it's because it's you know, the first time pregnancy and the second time pregnancy, but I just want to share it because I feel it's totally different. And I asked a couple people around me and they all agree with me on the baby girl symptoms. So I'll be sharing that um, in the next coming up videos, but I will be going home to Taiwan first. So um, hopefully I'll be doing that video in Taiwan and sharing with you guys. So I hope you guys are happy that I got a baby girl. Yay! <laughs> All right, so I will see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs> oh, and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>